Hello boys and girls, it's Mrs. Claus at the Allen County Library and I'm helping them this week do kindergarten readiness. I believe Miss Amanda calls that K-Ready. So I want you all to get ready to do a lot of fun things with us. They do have a craft bag for you to pick up this week and it's really fun. There's lots of pieces and I think you're going to enjoy making this craft with me today. They also wanted me to talk about some picture books here in the children's department that deal with the Christmas season. And I was looking through all the books that they have displayed and I picked out some of my favorites. So here's a few that I think you would enjoy. This one is The 12 Days of Christmas and it's by Susan Jeffers. So if you know that song, On the First Day of Christmas, I think you know it. This goes through all of the verses of that song with really pretty pictures, and it gets the children or the child to know that song better. I love books that have a song element to them. Another good selection for Christmas this year is called One Christmas Wish. It's illustrated by Emily Sutton. The pictures are very pretty. They're beautiful. And I think you'll enjoy this with your family. This one's fun because it celebrates how different people around the world, different cultures, celebrate the Christmas season. And this one's called World of Cookies for Santa. Follow Santa's tasty trip around the world. And I know best that Santa loves his cookies, but he doesn't just like chocolate chip, even though those are his absolute favorite. He likes what every child brings to the table for him, including those that are in different parts of our world. <clears throat> of course, The Night Before Christmas, and it's by, this one is an illustrated version by Tommy DePolia. And I think you'll enjoy um, the story that was originally written by Clement C. Moore. And of course, it's just a classic. On the night before Christmas, when all through the house, I think you know the rest of the story. It's very good. <clears throat> this one I had the pleasure of reading at the library just a couple of weeks ago. And it's called The Tree That's Meant to Be by Yuval Zomer. Uh, the library decided for their display this season out there on their front porch to use this book as the theme. It's a wonderful story with beautiful pictures and it has a really good meaning, uh, meaning for it as well. And finally, <clears throat> there's still so many more that we could talk about, but we'll end it with this one and it's Dasher. And Dasher is, of course, one of Santa's trusty reindeer, and it's the story of Dasher. Okay, let's go to the next part of our um, program with you, and we're going to put together uh, a snow globe that Miss Amanda and her friends at the library have gotten together for you this week. She told me to tell you that there are kits to pick up in the lobby of the library. So make sure to stop by and get one of those bags so you can make one of these snow globes as well. In the bag, you get a blue circle. Circles are round like a tire or a donut. You get two stars and you'll know what the stars are for in just a minute. You get this weird shape of white. I wonder what that's going to be used for. You also get this fun, I believe it's called a trapezoid. And you get two Christmas trees that are already pre-traced for you. And all you have to do is practice those cutting skills today with me and cut those trees out. So let's get started. So we're making a snow globe today. Oh, there's also lots of little colorful dots, and I bet I know what they'll do with them in just a second. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab your trapezoid, and then you're gonna grab your blue circle. The blue circle is going to sit on top of the trapezoid until it looks like it matches up pretty well 
at the base of your circle. And once you have that lined up how you would like, I want you to glue that down. And we're just going to use a little strip of glue on the top little portion of the narrowest part of your trapezoid. The shortest, the shortest part. And glue that down so it looks something like this. It kind of looks like one of those magic balls, doesn't it? We're going to change it into something more festive, though. <clears throat> the next thing you're going to do is get the white. And if you notice, it has a round edge at the bottom and some fun, bumpy curves on the top. We're going to match the round edge at the bottom with the round edge of the bottom of your circle that lines up with the top of your trapezoid. So this is gonna be snow for the inside of your snow globe. Once you have it matched up the way you would like, put glue all over the white snow and then glue that down to the base or the bottom of your circle that is blue. We're making a little layer of snow for the inside of your trapezoid or your circle, I'm sorry. Okay, now I wanna see your cutting skills. So you will need some scissors. Miss Amanda told me to tell you that. You'll need scissors and glue. You have a bigger tree <clears throat> and then a smaller tree. So you're going to use your scissors and you're going to cut them out as best as you can by following the line of the branches of the trees. There's one tree. Now let's cut the other tree, number two. And there is tree number two. All right, so in your snow globe, <clears throat> you're going to position your, true, your two trees wherever you would like them to go. You may have one that appears to be closer and the other one could stand further back it doesn't matter, but I want you to glue these two trees down somewhere in the middle of your snow globe. So my two trees <clears throat> look something like this. Now we're going to add two pretty stars to the each to the tops of each tree. Mrs. Claus's look something like this. Now Miss Amanda and her friends added lots of fun little dots to your bags. You can choose to put glue on each dot and then add them to the tree, or you may put little dots on the tree of glue and then add the dots to each dot of glue. It's whatever you prefer to do. One of my trees now looks like this. <clears throat> now I'll do the second tree. Now there is my finished snow globe. If you had some white crayons or some white pens, or maybe even some cotton balls, you could add snow to your snow globe, but it's fine just the way it is like this as well. I hope you've enjoyed this craft with me today, and I hope that you will stop by the library and see Miss Amanda and her friends this week before Christmas. The library will be closed on Friday for Christmas Eve, and they will celebrate with their families and they hope you do as well. Whatever it is that you celebrate at your home. If you have anything that you'd like to say to Santa, drop that in the comment section below and I would be happy to pass that along to him. Now he is a very busy man this week, but he will always make time to try to meet your needs. Okay, it's good seeing you and I hope to see you sometime next year if the library will have me back. All right, have a good day. Goodbye.